everybody this is Cecilia and welcome to Cecilia's art just want to show you some stuff I got on sale at Hobby Lobby clearance and every year at uh, the beginning of the year after Christmas the store gets rid of some old stuff and brings in some new stuff and pretty much throughout the store and we have a lot of cool things that and I say we because I work there but there's a lot of cool things that get clearanced off 75% and this is one of them and I pretty much hit the art department this is a Bria Reese alcohol ink kit and it was originally $17.99 and Hobby Lobby prices these as uh, your price. You can't use a coupon against it or or it doesn't go on sale. That's the final price, which is $17.99. And it's down to $7.19. So ten, 10 bucks cheaper. It's really cool. Now, I've never tried this brand of alcohol inks, but I'm excited too. And they got rid of a lot of these. The only thing they didn't get rid of uh, was the actual alcohol inks. Now, the watercolor inks, this brand, were all clearanced. So if you're interested in that, they're there. I uh, have plenty of watercolors. I didn't want to deal with the inks. So this is interesting. I get four, three colors, which is the primaries yellow, blue, and red, and a blending solution. Now, I have alcohol inks in uh, the Ranger kind. So, you know, I wasn't that excited so much about the actual inks, but I never used the blending solution, so I'm gonna have to try that. And then it comes with these uh, stamps. and has the little stamp holder, and got the sponge, and some other little doodads. This is like foam, foam stamp kind of thing. Hmm. Anyways, uh, that's a pretty good deal. Seven dollars and nineteen cents. Yes. So I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna do a demo later. Oh, and it also comes with some a project guide and this seems like some kind of board. Ah, it's an alcohol ink board, canvas, canvas board. Pretty good there. Project guide, color wheel, and it shows you how to use the little thingy, and oh, it even has a brush in there. Oh, look at that. Actual painting with the alcohol inks. Okay. Going to play with that later. Another thing that was in that section were the Yupo papers. Now, Yupo papers are pretty expensive. This is a 10-piece, 9 by 12. Originally was $11.99, down to $2.99. And I got all that was there, which was three packs. And I'm going to do some demos later with this. So I've never tried Yupo paper before. It's going to be a new one for me. What else? What else? Am I doing? Oh, yeah. Some more things in that section. Then they have the waterproof panels. These are three in a pack. Regular $5.99 for $1.49. And that's just little canvas panels made out of Yupo paper. Cool. 149 good deal good deal now I bought this watch because at work we're not allowed to have our cell phones with us so and I need to know what time it is so I always buy these little cheap watches they sell normally for $7.99 several of them got clearanced to $3.19 so not bad for a little watch that uh, has pretty good looks and now I got this one because this is the only one that I liked enough for me to wear. But 319 cheap, great watch for work. 
Then I picked up these. These are Zig Memory System Millennium Assorted. They are fine tip ink pen markers for drawing, which I like to do a lot of, especially if you like doodling, um, Zen tangles, all that kind of stuff. And they were regular $12.99 for $3.24. Good deal. I also got this pack of Zig calligraphy pens. Now, years ago, now this is the regular price, $8.99. The sale price came off, but I figured it was $2.24 for three. And you get three different tips. Uh, a one, a two, and a three millimeter. Right there. So, good deal on that one. I also... Let's see what else. Uh, here we go. More stuff, more stuff. This was not on sale, but I got this one to pretty much to coat some of my uh, drawings that I use with things that are not permanent, like charcoal and water soluble inks and things. Now this is the Krylon UV resistant clear in the matte finish. $9.99, got it with my coupon, saved a few bucks on it. Um, you could you could also, most people would use the fixatives, but I really, I've been trying the clear matte sprays, and they were better for me, for my kind of art anyway. So I'm happy with that. And then I went and picked up a few of these Colorpore. Uh, bottles. They had a few colors that were clearanced out. Not all colors are getting clearanced out. This is a really good product that we have been selling for the past year and a half, maybe two, two years. I don't think quite two years. And I did a demo a while back of these and they work really well in pouring acrylic art. And I will be doing another demo soon on these. So that's pretty much all I got. Uh, there's, oh, there is one more thing in the house department. Now I got this full, full of pens and brushes. I got this kitty cat mug. I love it. Uh, drank my coffee out of it. Unfortunately, the tail is hollow, so the hot coffee goes up the tail and burns your hand. But I thought it was great as a desktop art holder caddy thing. And there's a lot more stuff like this over there. Just not... I didn't get any... Um, didn't get much of the... What you call it? The house home decor kind of stuff. I'm more into the arts and I have so many art supplies really there's not that much more that I need. Now these are pretty good price. $1.49 for a regular $5.99 bottle and you don't have to mix it. Now the only thing I found with this last time I did a demo with it is the paint is just a tiny bit too thick and I had to add a little bit more water to get the results that I like. Some of you that have been doing pouring art uh, complain that it is cracking and not causing any any uh, what you call uh, cells and that's probably because your paint's too thick. It's something that you have to experiment on your own. You have it's trial and error. And each paint brand is gonna react different. You have to work with it. You have to figure it out yourself. I can't tell you exactly how much paint, how much water, how much uh medium to use. Um what I can tell you is if your paint's too thick you're not going to get cells, and when it dries, it will probably crack. 
you have to thin it out a little bit more. The, the silicone oils, the best ones that I have used was the spray lubricant that I, um, I have the bottle somewhere. That works the best for me. You don't need to put a lot, just a tiny bit. The kit that I bought with this did come with a silicone oil and I tried that and it works fine. Just, you, you have to experiment yourself and see what works best for you. I think there's a lot of factors involved on that. Anyway, that's pretty much all for this little video. Just a short video to let you know, go to your local Hobby Lobby. We got a lot of stuff that's clearance. You got to get it soon or somebody else is going to get it. And they're still in the process of clearing, clearancing different departments. Uh, I believe the art department is already finished, done with all the clearancing. You ne we never know until we get the memo in and it says, okay, you got to mark this down and mark that down. Um, the home accents department clearanced out several things, some beautiful lamps. Uh, lots of pottery and decor, tabletop decor. The frame shop, they clearanced out a lot of frames. Frames, uh, unbacked frames, just the frame, no glass or nothing. Perfect for painters who want to frame their, their art. So, and we're still in the process of doing other departments. So, check it out. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.